she's an older looking woman, but um, she came at me on Facebook. You want to read what she said? You want, first of all, read what post that I posted. Now, this is in reaction to um, MGK and Eminem. So, all right, you posted. Bro, it's crazy to me how, as black people, we support garbage rap. Ghostwriters, dope fiends, mumble rap, copycats. But white people support lyricists, storytellers, real hip-hop. It's crazy how the tables have turned. Our, women's aren't in, our women aren't into Lauren Hill anymore. These mindless zombies want to pretend to be prostitutes and shake their ass. Our men want to be dope fiends with face tats and pretend to be tough while wearing a dress. And <laughs> about being smart, having a hustle, or being creative. Now, to break down what I was saying. When I said it about prostitutes, um, I've said it several times. Cardi B says, fuck him and I get some money. Uh, Nicki Minaj talking about her pussy every fucking, uh, verse. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I've heard other male rappers talk about make her pay for the dick. Like, what? Like, what happened to rapping about love, hustle, struggle, wisdom, education, all these different topics. Why are we so confined and put in a box? That's what I don't understand. Now, when I say white people gravitate gravitate towards the lyricism, it's because, like, you take a super lyrical underground black rapper, and I guarantee you his fan base is 75% white. Take somebody like Hobson, for example. Hobson is dope, and his fan base is white. Now, you got people that's out here, they going to say, um, well, most people are supported by white people and white teenagers are buying the music. True to a certain extent. But we have to be very careful about saying, you know, hip hop is just a young man's game because it's really not. The highest sellers in hip hop are all over 30. Right. J. Cole, Kendrick, Nicki Minaj, Drake. Uh, Eminem, like right. the list goes on and on. Jay Z, these are all the top sellers, and they're all over thirty. All right, but what's what's commercialized and what's promoted and what's the visuals that are out there and the ones that are getting on and you know uh, getting a platform without a cosign are the little fuckity fuck rappers you know what i'm saying right. like, they run around here talking about how much dope they can do and how many pills they can pop and how much lean they can drink and it's just a bunch of fuckery and they're just remixing the same thing over and over and over again now right for the people that's gonna say oh well nwa talked about killing people or tupac talked about killing people and all this other no 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 there's a difference between being a mirror for your society and just keep and constantly perpetuating a certain idea. Like this whole idea of dumb gangsterism. I, I'm going to dive in, you know, the real gangsters and stuff like that later, because from what I knew growing up, a gangster wasn't a stupid person. You know, somebody that actually organized and, and put money in their hood and, you know, fed their families and all these different things right. the way that it was meant for. They created legacies. Right. It wasn't about that stupid nigga standing on the corner every day just to go buy Jordans and fucking smoke good. Right. It wasn't about that. So when I see these dudes throwing their lives away, you know, face tattoos and just... Dumb shit, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. jumping out the window, anything for attention. I feel disgraceful. Like, it's it's sad to me that it's so hard to find good, decent hip-hop from our people. Right. It's hard to find that shit, man. Definitely. If you don't flat out suck at it, you out here doing fuck shit for it. Mm -hmm. And fuck shit with it. It's like, I seen this one video. I think I thought I, t I talked about this before. I saw this one video that just literally made me want to throw up with this dude in a wedding dress and somebody put a shotgun in his mouth and he like sucking on it while he rapping. Wow. 
What? This shit is on World Star. I have no oh. idea. I don't even want to give him no no shine. <laughs> but I'm like, what the fuck? This dude, Boom Gang, whatever his name is. Boom Gang, I don't know his name. But he running and jumping on people's merch in New York and you know, oh yeah 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 I have seen doing that. all type of crazy shit for fucking attention man and people gravitate towards that right. we have to be careful now I'm not an old dude I'm not some fucking fifteen year old either I've been talking about this shit since 2012 we have to be careful because we're gonna lose our art form I've said it several I mean several times before we had blues. We had jazz, we had rock, and all that shit is pretty much gone. Now, this ain't no knock against white people because it ain't it ain't our fault that we're doing it worse than y'all now. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and kudos to rappers like Jay Z, J. Cole, Kendrick. They still doing it at a at a maximum level. But the days of Everybody understanding that this has this has to come from a place of talent or substance or, you know, you had to be original. Those days are pretty much gone with our people. Yeah. And that's, especially young ones. That's fucking sad, man. And we I hate when people would like to sit back and be like, oh, well, we can't get mad at them. People got mad at us. It's not the same. Mm-mm. Like when N.W.A. make a song like. Fuck the police is coming from somewhere. Right. That song still is timeless. You can go play that now. When when NWA make a song like um Respect Yourself. You know, I mean Express Yourself, my Express bad. Express yourself. Yeah. Express yourself. I'm thinking about the lyrics. But yeah, they do that. Where's the express yourself now? <laughs> they can't because they too high. Yeah. They too drunk, too drunk. I agree. Up. <laughs> I agree. Now, the reason why I was bringing this up is because this lady, she copied my post and shared it, and she said something about, oh, he talking shit about black people and saying white people this and that, you know what I mean? That whole, you know, that whole racial divide war shit. But don't, don't sit back and act like it's not true. If you believe it's not true, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong. There are white rappers out there that are garbage. But for the most part, the ones that are winning, winning, and out there doing their thing, and the way that MGK and Eminem went in each other with lyricism, yeah, I respect that. Look at somebody got like... To. I I got a rapper that most people probably don't even know, but he's doing this thing. His name is NF. He's dope. Can flat out rap. I don't think I know who that is. Right. A lot of people don't know. His name is NF White Dude. Cole. He got this track called Out Here Grinding. That's so tough. But it's like. <clears throat> you respect that. And it's almost like they come from a place where they like. They want to prove that they can rap like hip hop started. it. You know. You want to prove that I'm better than you. I want to prove that. You know. This is hip hop and I love it. Why these other dudes running around just saying whatever they they feel like they need to say for money? Right. What happened to integrity? What happened to the love for the art form? Right. That's what I'm saying. Now, if people going to get up here and say that I'm wrong, I don't have no conversation for somebody that can sit here and dissect my words and, and pick and choose what they want from it. Only thing she heard was white and black, and she went at it. Last the fake t- outrage. Right. <laughs> Last time I heard, you should sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around somebody else. Definitely. I mean, that is what it is. Right. That don't mean I don't love my people. That this I'm saying this because I love my people. Because I love that art form. Because I'm a part of that art form and it's been a part of my life for the better part of two decades. You know? I mean, I started rapping when I was, my first time trying to freestyle, I was 11, 12. My first time writing a rhyme was to some old Master P beats. So I love this shit. So for me to not speak on it is just stupid. Right. (laughs) That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. 
Like you take, you could take somebody like Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake is probably the last, him and Beyonce are probably the last child stars that grew up in, and, and Justin Bieber. They grew up and just did this game right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Those are the last ones. But two of them are white. To sit up here and act like they're not white, I'm tripping. Right. You know? That's all I'm saying. Maybe now. Usher. He's yeah, not Usher. A, but he's Usher kind of. Oh, I hate that word. <laughs> oh, I just said that the other day. I fucking hate, hate word? the word relevant. Why? Because it's left up to interpretation. It's That's like, true. I like. Who? I still listen to Usher, but I mean, as far as I guess he's not as mainstream anymore. Is that he, a yeah, word? he's not putting out music. <laughs> Let's say he's not putting out music like he used to. Yeah, and he's not. You know, everywhere like he used. To. Yeah, okay. but relevant. <laughs> Usher is at a level where he can drop a song tomorrow and then it go number one. That's true. That's very true. So. Oh, I hate that word. <laughs> and uh, oh, I can't stand when I hear. Oh, I hate that word. I just said the other day we need to retire the word relevant because <laughs> I, the other day I saw this lady. Um, she was talking about Eminem. Eminem ain't even relevant. So I'm like, who the fuck are you to say that? <laughs> when the man dropped, the man dropped a, a surprise album, and the world is talking about it. How can you say that? That's definitely relevant. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, I guess, I guess we gotta, you know, be on TV every single day to be relevant. No, like, I've heard people say that a song is old after three months. I've heard people say no. that three months. That's crazy. I used to listen to Master P Ghetto D album for over a year. Juvenile Four Hundred Degrees. I listened to that for years. <laughs> It's a lot of albums I still listen to. Old albums, right? Too. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like what? Three months. They I don't even to- really give it time to mature. Right. I listened to Nas Steelmatic for years. I listened to a lot of albums for a long time. Like what are you talking about? I still. I've just turned on uh, Michael Jackson's Dangerous the other day. Listen to the whole album. Mm-hmm. And that came out ninety one. Right. Good music is good music. Right. You can never get tired of it. Hey, right, man. Y'all just run around here just want to twerk to something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just want to, oh, such and such that said that's hard, so that's hard. And what happened to this whole, you know, if you actually enunciate and you actually have rapping ability and you actually are saying something, what happened? Why did that become lame? Why did that become something that's not respected? Like, I watched it happen to T.I. As soon as T.I. got on some more, you know, conscious shit, smarter shit, mm-hmm. making bigger songs, people turn their back on T.I. Yeah. T.I. is one of the greatest of all time. Right. But it's like, they want you to dumb it down and be stupid. Why? Because they want us to be dumbed down and to be stupid. So if they can get what we listening to, that's music is like the gateway to the soul. I feel like Hell yeah. if they can get us through music, then they got us. That's, if we have nothing else, we have music, right? And that's I feel like that's just the easiest way to get to us, right? Right. And they know that. And it's like people for the, for a long time they like to say, you know, Eminem only selling because he's white. Da, da, da. That may be true to a certain extent, but. People can't deny the fact that the boy can rhyme. Right. People he can't good. deny the fact that he can song write, he can storytell, he can put words together that's incredible, punchlines, whatever. He can fucking rap. Right. And for us to sit up here and act like that's not true, you're bugging. Definitely. <laughs> he is. He just, he is not even just good. He's amazing. My right. mama don't even listen to rap music, and she'll listen to Lil Wayne, and she'll listen to Eminem. Right. She, and now she listen to Jay-Z, because that's my stepdad's favorite rapper. Right. But he's good. And that, that's like saying fucking Celine Dion and Christina Aguilera can't sing, because they white. <laughs> that's the dumbest shit ever. Right. 
<laughs> That's the dumbest shit ever, man. We got to stop that bullshit, man. I'm talking to us, our people. We got to stop this bullshit, all right? You want to sit up here and complain about this, complain about that? Change it within yourself. It's like my, uh, Michael Jackson said. Start with the man in the mirror. Change right. it your fucking self. Right. Right.